today, I, James Callum Butchers, take you, Shri Ellen Clifton, to be my wife. I think we both knew from the first time we met properly that I was completely infatuated by you. Marriage is a commitment to loving one another. We're created to love. We spend most of our lives looking for someone to give it to. Maybe you kiss a few frogs in the search. But when you find that special someone, I'm sure you both agree, James and Sherry, that it feels just right. Despite spending their entire first year of university at the same hall and sharing a mutual best friend, James and Sheree didn't actually meet until orientation week of, of their fourth year. When they were finally introduced at a BYO, celebrating the birthday of the maid of honor, Evie. Um, however, things didn't really get off to a flying start. James said talking to Sheree was like trying to get blood out of a stone. <laughs> harsh on your wedding day and Cherie says payback it was so unmemorable that she doesn't even recall meeting him that night worst first impression ever <clears throat> thanks to Cherie's amnesia James was afforded a second chance at a first impression he bumped into her during O week um, again and again and this time but the first time the next time he bumped into her, she took notice and he decided that she wasn't such a stony cold brick wall after all. <laughs> in fact, over the next few days, they kept on running into each other. I kind of think accidentally on purpose. They totally had the hots for each other. And that weekend at a rugby game, each on their own, cornered Evie to see if she could ask the other if they wanted to go around with them. And Evie said, do it yourself. This isn't intermediate school. <laughs> So, Cherie sculled her beer, wiped her chops, and then she coyly sidled up next to James and pretended that she didn't know the rules of rugby. <laughs> but James knew what was up and totally played along, explaining in depth why grown men in short shorts run around a field mud wrestling each other over an inflated pigskin. Later that night, he was still going on about that flippin' pigskin when Cherie hushed his drunk mouth with a finger. And in a sudden sober moment of tense silence, James leaned in and then Cherie leaned in and then James leaned in a little bit more and then Cherie leaned in a little bit more and then they drunkenly mashed faces. <laughs> and that's kind of how it all began. <laughs> You're an amazing and beautiful person who sees the best in everyone, myself included. I love your laugh, your smile, your caring nature, and the fact that you no longer adjust the driver's seat settings when you take the car. Whether it be doing the small things I hate, like making the bed in the morning, or taking a risk because I said, you can trust me, you're always there for me. I promise to support you, to honor you, and to love you unconditionally, uh, even when we occasionally have uh, a disagreement or you start to get angry. Jay, you were the most unexpected person at the most unexpected time. And when we first met, I don't think either of us thought we would end up here today. But hindsight is an interesting thing. And now I know that I met you five years ago for a reason. We were meant to be. Love is the most important thing in our lives. It's the only thing that we get more of by giving it away. It's the key ingredient of our favorite memories. It's the greatest motivator to move forward in life. And it's also the very thing that gives us the strength to overcome any tough times ahead. Without love, we just exist. But with love, we really begin to live. Since you entered my life, it hasn't been the same and it never will be again, for which I'm incredibly thankful. 
from today onwards. Um, so excited to have you as my partner by my side. Falling in love with you was the easiest thing I've ever done. I fell in love with you from the day we met and I'll love you for the rest of our lives. I promise to give you my all and I can't wait to start this journey together. And so today, I, Cherie Ellen Clifton, take you, James Cullen Butchers, to be my husband, to dance with and to laugh with and to stay forward. As we continue to build our lives together, I promise to respect you as your own person and to grow alongside you, to listen to and support all your hopes and dreams and in turn share my own. I'll be your biggest cheerleader and your absolute number one fan, with or without a cap, because if, Jay, there's one thing I believe in, it's in you. I love you wholeheartedly and without reservation. And I promise to keep loving you faithfully through all of life joys, all of its challenges, and every moment in between. For all the days of my life, Jay, I'll stand by you. Said to me, I declare you husband and wife. Yeah.